I'm ZeroFXB, welcome to my channel. So if you've got a Yaesu radio, and my FT5 is an example, you're going to want to one day install the driver for your SCU19. So yeah, win some Windows versions will, will download it, but generally you need to download the proper driver. So you'd come to a site like, you know, a Yaesu site, go to Files here, scroll to the bottom, and you're going to see your driver. There's one there, is it PL23XX. So you can download your driver, just hit that, and you'll get your zip open up. Now the biggest mistake most of us make is that we connect the cable to the radio and then to the PC first. Then we go and download the driver, but that is a mistake. Because what happens is you connect it to the computer, the computer automatically adds a driver that doesn't work, and then when you try and install the proper driver, it just doesn't work. So just remember that the main trick is download and run the driver first it look like something like this and you get a whole load of files here they've always got instructions just follow the instructions so that when your cable is plugged into your PC and you right click and select device manager it's going to show up something like this prolific USB to serial COM port and on a radio like the FT5 when it's off just hold down F menu and the one above and it will go into it will go into PDM mode when you turn it on and then the com will show up here when you hit refresh see the top one prolific com 13 click OK and then when it boots if it's correct at the bottom here it will say ready it won't say no transceiver connected and then it'll fire up sorry about the glare and you'll be able to use wise XPDN and also you'll be able to use the SCU 19 cable for other things um, is it RT systems and other kinds of programming? So I hope this helps. 7.3 from M0FXB. Catch you on air. All the best.